A Walterboro mother is hopeful that justice will be served after her 18 year old daughter Erica Caldwell died in a triple shooting back in 2018. She was the only one who died of their injuries. This week marks one year since that shooting on Savage Street and police are still looking for the person who did it. Our Alexis Simmons sat down with the mom who's asking people to speak up. She was a loyal person. She was funny. Um, beautiful. It's been one year since Camelyn Baker's daughter was shot and killed. She's gone for nothing. Erica Caldwell's picture remains close to her heart. Her mom says Erica was at the wrong place at the wrong time. You definitely got the wrong one and you took someone who was very special to a lot of people. That shooter has not yet been identified. Two other people were shot on the night of March 28, 2018. They survived. Baker says Erica would have graduated from high school shortly after. Walterboro is the place I came to raise my daughter because I didn't feel like Orlando, um, the, you know, urban outskirts were safe. And, um, and Walterboro was always a safe and quiet town and I think it still it still for the most part is. She says Erica was with her boyfriend that night and hanging out with people who lived at the home where the shooting happened. If the problem isn't resolved and people continue to just keep quiet out of fear, they're only feeding the problem. Mm -hmm. So please speak up. One of the shooting victims told police the shooter was wearing a hoodie and he ran away from the scene. In Walterboro, Alexis Simmons, Live 5 News. Walterboro police say the suspect is a man. If you have any information about this case, you're asked to call the Crime Stoppers of the Low Country at the number you see on your screen, 843-554-1111. You will remain anonymous.